Okay, hi everyone. I'm trying to stay on top of providing video updates of material that we discussed during meetings. I think it's good to do that. So let me share my screen. There we go. Okay, so um, you know, the other way I try to do this is by posting the agenda on D2L. So I'll just start at the top. I mean, one of the things that we talked about in our terms of our in terms of our continuing conversation. Uh, is our, our, our staff positions. And um, my brain is moving in two directions right now, so I'll try to focus on this. You know, part of it is getting the 14 paid positions down. And then beyond that, we need to be uh, in recruitment mode to bring other students, you know, from all over campus, uh, inviting them to participate and to produce material and content for the Keystone. And there's lots of ideas about that, uh, you know, going forward. Uh, material from my technical writing classes, potentially. Michael was talking about students doing sort of personal things. Um, I, I'm, I, I, we probably need to define that a little bit more. Um, I think the idea was like, if we have an artist on campus who's going to talk about their art, then that's, that's great. But uh, what's in my brain a little bit, though, is making me a little bit nervous is we don't want the newspaper to become somebody's diary where, I, I, you know, unless you want to set up a section where it is specifically sort of diary writing. You see what I'm saying? So we need to continue to discuss, I'm not trying to squash the idea, but it needs to be clear, you know? Um, and, and the other thing that can happen is if, if we can find some art or music students uh, who, are, who are ready to tell us about their work, maybe they can also talk to other people within their you know, artistic community and um, they can write up that material as well. So it's not just fo focused on a singular student. Um, yeah, I, I, I love the ideas. I'm open to it. But it's all in how we package it and put it together, right? OK, on we go. So uh, I was talking about then, um, right, getting the staff positions down, the 14 paid positions. Also, it's a good idea for us to start cultivating assistance over time. Uh, it, it's looking like we're moving to the point where the editor in chief is going to have basically an assistant in the managing editor, although it's not clearly not one of servitude, but it is a collaborative position. And then we have some editors here and, you know, staff writers can take people under their wing. There's no problem with that. And, and again, these are paid positions. So if we approve this, uh, this slate here, let's say um, Caitlin then uh, can find somebody, maybe a professional writing major who is interested in in uh, learning, uh, you know, some tutelage under that, uh, and and being an assistant to the staff writer, or um, I don't know that I want to call it an intern because it doesn't go that far, but uh, we can come up with the language. Let me sit with it for a while, and then we can, you know, sort of roll out that language. But then um, that assistant, then I think assistant's the best word, um, can can potentially move into that position. You know, there's no guarantees, and the executive board needs to vote on it, and all of that. But I'm just trying to download uh, where I see us next semester and then maybe next fall, uh, you know, how it's going to evolve. So to start at the top, we've, we've, we've talked about keeping the editor in chief, of course, and then bringing into the equation a managing editor who would do any number of things, help with recruitment for sure, coordination for sure. What I have in mind is overseeing the production process uh, because the editor in chief shouldn't have to do that. The editor in chief, you know, should should have discussions with me. And, um, you know, there's a lot of planning. There's a lot of oversight that needs to happen with all of these positions here that the editor in chief needs to be responsible for. So it shouldn't be that the editor in chief needs to shepherd all of the material through Trello. I, I, I don't think that that is a reasonable expectation. So that's where the managing editor, the managing editor would help to manage. Uh, and, you know, also steer, I, you know, I would like to have conversations with the editor in chief and the managing editor about what organizations should we belong to, how we should spend our money. You know, certainly you're all involved in this, but we need more. We sort of need more at that level. Um, what are opportunities to travel for people who participate in the Keystone? Those kinds of things. We need more brain power sort of at that at the administrative level. Yes. Um, and then we talked about it, maybe having a multimedia editor who would be always thinking about videos, working with the videographer in order to get those going, uh, thinking about podcasts, thinking about images, uh, sort of coordinating then with, all right, because we have a graphic artist 
and we have individuals who are taking photos and we have a videographer and people who might want to create podcasts, all those kinds of things. So that's what, what this that person would do. And then we are trying to move toward actually having four staff writers, which I think is brilliant. I, I really think we need it because if you look at the website right now, you see um, it, it, Caitlin has come online more strongly because um, Caitlin had a commitment, I think, with BAM but now is back and is trying to, you know, churn out articles. That's great. Catherine has been producing for us. Fern has done a good job producing material. Um, we could use more help there, right? So, you know, a quick look at the website will tell you who's producing the material. Um, and I do as well. I would like to, I, you know, it, it shouldn't be my role to be writing for the newspaper. However, I will probably continue to do that because I think it is an effective teaching tool to see, you know, when you can see the, the the sort of professional doing it, then people can follow along with that. Copy and line then one and two. Um, if indeed Linda, we talked about this last night, if Linda moves into the position of managing editor, then uh, we will have an open position here. And again, this list has yet to be approved. Uh, Abby's good, Caitlin's good, Molly's good, Victoria's good, and Kate North, all those other positions are good. And then my name down at the bottom. So I'm asking everybody to put some thought into this and see how you feel about what we have proposed here and if we can clear this right and we, we don't even have a meeting next week because we have uh, uh maybe we can do something brief maybe i can i don't know we'll see um maybe we can do it through email um and it, because you're right we're going to lose time um yeah all right i'm going to keep on moving forward so the agenda for last night also our budget appeal has been approved so this becomes a thing for us. We uh, orig originally didn't have a budget for reasons I'm not gonna go into here, weirdness. Um, and then we had like $2,600. We asked for 4,000. They looked at what we spent last year and we only spent $486. So they were like, you don't need to have all that money. But we said, let's go and try to get it. And we did. So um, we need to put some plans into place to spend that money or be prepared to go back to them and say, thank you for allocating this, but we are only going to need this much. We thought we would need the 4,000. You know, we just need to keep on dealing straight with them uh, and, and, and go in that direction. Uh, Caitlin provided a, uh, an update on advertising sales. So we hope to get that. Caitlin's been pursuing this beautifully, hopes to have like a proposal in place before we go to break for um, the, the winter holiday. And then hoping to have this actually implemented, meaning up and running, generating revenue before spring break of next semester. Uh, back to my agenda here, we need more writers. One of the things I was seeing, there's not enough consistent content and we are late to the game on the advantage point shooting. There was a shooting just off campus, right? It affected a lot of people and we got nothing on it. So, right, we're gonna talk about breaking news coverage next semester during workshops and all of that. So Keystone then looks like this. Right, so here I am looking at the website. We have not published in 12 days, which is a bit of a concern, um, right? So when you see Fern, you see Fern, you see Gavin, Victoria, Fern again, good job. Catherine, Alex, good. Photos by Michael Downing. Caitlin is there, good. Caitlin is there, Fern. So you can see what's going on there. There's a quick look. Um, right. Um, where do we stand with the managing editor position? So we're moving forward on that. What's happening with the podcasts? So I, I had a fear that this is detracting from our regular print production. And as I look at the, the website, yeah, we haven't published in 12 days. I know there was a break in there. Well, what is the break, though? Um, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, five. So yeah, you see where I start to get worked up. Um, I had, this is kind of where we started. So I had questions about the need for a staff photographer. I'm looking at the website again, and I am not seeing images there from the staff photographer. I'm seeing individual writers taking their own images. And this has been a longstanding problem with the Keystone. We did have, about six years ago, we had a, a, a photography editor who took pictures all over the place. It was outstanding. Um, I can't recall her name right off the bat. But otherwise, it's been like pulling teeth to get the, the photographer to take pictures. I, I don't, and I, I've asked questions. It's like, do you need to be pulled into the loop on these stories, et cetera, et cetera? And it just doesn't happen. So the executive board is of the mindset right now, as I understand it, to go ahead and eliminate that position. 
bring in another writer who can take their own pictures and we move forward that way. Uh, yes, so um, uh, an example of an organization that we can join would be the Pennsylvania News Media Association. They're located in Harrisburg. It's fairly easy access. There is probably a fee to join. So we should be looking at that. We should be looking at conferences. Um, I would think that that would be a good job for the managing editor to help out with, to move forward on in conjunction with the editor in chief and myself. Holiday party then is next Monday at 4.30. Please bring someone who might be interested in joining us next semester. You know, you all have friends. Um, make a pitch, bring a friend. Uh, as I said at the meeting, this is has a twofold purpose. The holiday party is to thank current staff and to attempt to recruit. It's not, you know, it's not just for us to whoop it up. It's to, it, the money is also to be spent to bring students in and feed them and say, here we are, right? Get involved. So please, please bring a friend or two. Uh, author bios then, let's get these done. Um, here are the, uh, the, what we have so far. Um, if, if Alex, if you are watching this, then go to the main website and look at the biographies here. And then submit the material um, to Michael or to uh, or to Molly. I'm not sure how you guys are handling that to me if you want, and I'll pass it along. And then it'll look like <laughs> right, Michael in, in the bathroom. <laughs> uh, maybe like this. Maybe like this. Okay. I, I think this is our best model. Okay. So all right, back here then. Um, I have a herring article here on the herring fitness court, which looks like this. And um, I passed that along to Michael today. So that should be moving into production soon. This week's speaker is KU alum Christina Steffi. There's her website. Um, Kate North, we need to talk about the logo and banner. I think you had done some good work, so I was I was ready to discuss that last night, but you were unable to make it. And then stickers, I need to catch up on my stickers. We talked about uh, meeting times for next semester, and those are there. We seem pretty settled on that. And uh, yeah, I need some time to put together you know, to look at the website, who's done what. And I'll put together a spreadsheet of who I owe rewards too. Okay, just trying to get this done as quickly as I can. I got to run. I'm going to stop my share, come back to me, and I'm going to stop the recording. Thanks, everyone.